Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> As you can hear from my voice, I have got like a flu or something like that. Um, my immune system doesn't really uh, hold up too well nowadays. I, I've got a problem with my body. I, I will talk about it in, in another video. Um, so yeah, I, I caught this flu. It was hanging around for about a week um, and then it finally took hold last night. But I wanted to do a collection video number 13. Basically, I'd stood all these movies up like that. So I just took them down so I can access to them easy. Um, I have got a 12.5 video that I'm going to put after this video so that you can see what I've been doing and chopping and changing. Um, if you do see any movies that cropped up in other videos, then I'm terribly sorry, but my brain just <laughs> malfunctioned a little bit. But I'm going to start off with my Criterion stuff. Um, I know I've shown that in another video, um, but this is the reissue of Salo, 120 Days of Sodom. I sold my initial release. Um, this is DVD. I've actually got a Blu-ray copy of it. Carnival Souls, the first edition on DVD. Harold and Maud, which is a really great film. Just one of those that I remember from my youth. Beastie Boys, the video anthology. Um, I love Beastie Boys. I just think they're one of the greatest bands. Um, sad they're not, not around anymore because um, of MCA. But there you go. Uh, Sisters, Criterion Edition. It's really cool. I've got the Arrow release as well. Eyes with his face, which is uh, Le Yux Sans Visage in French. Um, Friends of Eddie Coyle. I've got a Blu-ray of this, but this is Criterion Edition. Great film if you've never seen this. Great crime drama thriller. Video drone. I've got the arrow release, but I kept this because it's got the uh Betamax insert and the audio commentary. Science of Lambs, White Dog, Robocop, Dead Ringers, which I've also got on Blu-ray. The French Blu-ray was cheap, but I kept this because I do like the Criterion editions. One of my favourite um films that I, I do hope gets like a 4K. Uh, don't deserve a Blu-ray, deserves a 4K release because of black and white uh, cinematography. is just great. Man Bites Dog. Chasing Amy. Quite possibly one of my favourite Kevin Smith films, funnily enough. Flesh of Frankenstein, Blood for Dracula, which we know, uh, as, you know has been blown away by the Vinegar Syndrome. Then you've got this, um, America Lost and Found. Uh, the BBS story. Great movies on there. Head, Easy Rider, Five Easy Pieces, Drive She Said, A Safe Place, Last Picture Show, The King of Marvin Gardens. Just a great set. That was a gift. But um, it's just amazing. A lot of films on there. Um, Brazil, which is one of my favourite movies of all time. Still holds up to this day. Very prophetic. Terry Gillum. Uh, you know, I'm a big Monty Python fan. In, in, in case you haven't figured that out already from the, my little shorts I doubt, but... Yes, yeah, so it's got all the different versions on there. Uh, yeah, hopefully one day for a 4K, but this Criterion one is... Yeah, I don't think you can get better than this. Fear and Loathing Las Vegas. Again, excuse me, hang on a bit. Put me a bloody hell. Oh. Great film as well, Fear and Loathing Las Vegas. Sorry about that. Um, Messiah of Evil. This is a Radiance version. Really creepy little, odd little film. Uh, if you haven't seen it, it's well worth checking out. Get the, the Blu-ray, it's, it's fantastic. Scanners. Um, massive, I mean, you know, I'm a massive Cronenberg fan. And, and this issue, I, I know a lot of people say that this version is quite dark, but it is what it is, you know, it is how it was shot. And it's it's just a great edition. I, I think Scanners is a great film. Nightly Living Dead, which is the restored version, you know. I'm sure someone's going to do a 4K, but this is such a great addition. It's, a, it's just one of my favourite films of all time, you know. The Irishman. I know a little people, a lot of people didn't like the the ageing in this, but you know, it's Martin Scorsese, man. It's just when when this first came out, I not the I'm not talking about Blu-ray, but when the movie first came out, I I watched it a couple of times. I just think it's a great film. Great, it's just a great storyteller, and you, you're never going to see someone like him. Tootsie, Dustin Hoffman. I know people don't, you know, people wondering why I got Tootsie in my collection, but it's just one of those films from my youth that I remember. 
uh, and I just like it. It's a great addition as well. Multiple Maniacs, John Walters. I need to get all the John Walters on, on Criterion, to be honest, because, you know, I do like them, but I've got that lovely DVD edition up there. Punch Drunk Love. Personally, I, I, like, I like Adam Sandler. I think he's a great actor. I think he's funny. Uh, I, I dig his films. Um, it's Paul Thomas Anderson. Um, yeah, and it's just a great, you know, he, he's, he's great in this. Adam Sandler is just a, a great actor. Look at Uncut Gems, brilliant. Midnight Cowboy, another personal favourite film. We've got the original soundtrack that was banded down to me, you know. Um, and this is just, just a great film. John Schlesinger, it, that you don't get any better than that. Another great film, Investigation of a Citizen Above Suspicion. Elio Petri, uh, just great, great soundtrack. The soundtrack on this is just amazing. And I can watch this film all day long. It's just, just brilliant. The Game, David Fincher, again, one of my favourite directors. Uh, and it's just a great addition. I know it's out on 4K, but, you know, I just ain't got the money to fork out for a 4K as well. Come and see. Great uh, film about the Belarusian invasion. Sometimes it's hard to watch, but it's just a great film. Um, natural lighting, great cinematography. It's just a great film. Um, Fast Times at Ridgemont and I, I don't need to talk about this film, but I think everyone who's my age remembers this film. It's just, just a great movie. Carnival Souls, Blu-ray. I just like it, hence why I upgraded, and I'm I'm just not going to get rid of the DVD. Seconds, this was recommended by a friend and bought it, John Frankenheimer film, and it's just great. If you like doppelgangers and clones and stuff like that. House, Japanese Insanity, a great addition. Um, I think it's BFI over here or one of those labels, but it's, it's great. Hidden Fortress, uh, Akira Kurosawa, again, just, just great great filmmaking you know um if you've never seen it track it down i think it's cheap over here it's well worth a look <laughs> another cronenberg naked lunch not everyone's favorite um this hit at the right time for me you know in my life and i just like it i, I still wish i had the cut out of naked lunch but the really nice cut out uh, from a video shop but sadly no longer the brood um probably one of my favorite cronenbergs I do like his body horror stuff, and this edition is is really great. Shaft, the two movies on here it hasn't got Shaft in Africa on it. It's got uh, Shaft's big score on there as well as a secondary feature. But this edition is really good. Banging soundtrack as well, got to say. Got a couple of four Ks down the front here. Blade Runner, I, I don't think Blade Runner's been ever been surpassed. Uh, uh, you know, as a uh, science fiction movie i just think i just think it's great to be honest and it's got all the editions on there lovely edition uh this is 4k set of blu-rays <laughs> dawn of the dead i didn't get the big box because i'll tell you why i i've got all the soundtracks on cd uh, and just couldn't warrant i bought this after the fact and got it cheap so and i've got so many different different prints different versions of dawn of the dead um so yeah, Clockwork Orange. My mate Steve bought me this. I I do love Clockwork Orange, you know, and was hesitant buying the 4K, and he bought it for me. Um, he gets me a lot of movies, to be honest, as gifts and stuff. And this is a great addition. It's got some pins in there. I had the Clockwork Orange post on my wall for many, many, many years. I'm talking about my. I talk about in one of my videos about mainstream cinema. I don't really buy a lot of mainstream stuff, but I kind of like this. I just thought it was just a great little movie. Um, and yeah, I got it cheap. <laughs> so, the John Wick, I've got three John Wick movies. I wasn't keen on four, to be honest. I just thought the fights were a bit slow. I thought it was a bit overlong. Um, these three are great. Um, I will pick up four at some stage when it get, gets a lot cheaper, I'll be honest with you. Um, it just wasn't a, a good film part four, it, you know. But I did like the TV show, which was which was kind of weird. Uh, Maniac, Bill Lustig. That's a great addition, uh, you know. And it does benefit from the night scenes and stuff. I know a lot of people moan about the DVDs, you know, is a lot lighter. But 
it is i just i just like maniac something about it enter dragon i'm not going to talk too much about that there's a recent purchase i can't tell you how many copies i've had of evil dead but this is pretty much definitive 4k wise uh and movie wise i've had the japanese laser discs back, back the japanese disc was uh amazing i i've got a load of dvdrs and and stuff like that of different versions but yeah 4k is amazing the sadness steel book i kind of like this movie i know a lot of people didn't like it so it was too mean-spirited but this has got english subtitles as well um gore fest it's just splat fest you know alligator which is a personal favorite of mine screened it on vhs um screened a vhs version of this but this has got all the different versions on there which is nice to have uh the television cut on blu-ray and you've got the theatrical version as well uh it's, it's good zombie zombie flesh eaters whatever you want to call it of course this is the definitive print of it um the arrow one i thought was really good to be honest um but 4k it's just a personal favorite of mine i'm just you know uh again another another film that from when i was younger toolbox murders i don't know what it is about this funny enough my mate steve bought me this as well he bought me a lot of films fucking steve i tell you <laughs> he's a good mate he's a good mate is steve you know uh but yeah toolbox murders i do love it it's just uh it's just a great exploitation film you know um and i've got these from camera obscura uh top sensation which has got a couple of different versions on it virgins of the seven c probably gonna skip this one they've got boobs on there I don't want you all getting hard ones on it the orca these these editions were expensive this one's dvd version some of them are uh, a blu-ray um suspected death of a minor this has come out on our own some of these you know i didn't think this come out um wild beasts i've got a blu-ray of this but this, this dvd was amazing look at that artwork though it's just animals on pcp what, what more do you want <laughs> oh what's this one uh so sweet so dead i think is the title oh, yeah this is dvd unfortunately but the print is just amazing on it the, you, you'd never want to upgrade this uh like wild dogs i think uh, is the translation of this nice uh sort of gang cop thriller shall we say Mario Perloni, Perloni, whatever his name is, probably got that wrong. Uh, house on the Edge of the Beach or Last House on the Beach. Great film. It's got the soundtrack in there as well. Actually, I might stick that to the side. I ain't seen that in a while, to be honest. Terror Express. Another cracker. I don't know if it's come out over here, is it? Or is it? I can't really, I can't really remember. But this is the DVD version. Again, just look, looks great anyway. Spirits of Death, and I think this is San Biblia 8pm, I think is the title of it, but yeah, and then I've got a couple of 4Ks in the corner here, Django, which uh, I've upgraded, I'm going to probably knock this one on, I'll put that on me for sale pile over there, Unforgiven, um, some of the blacks are a little bit crushed on this, but you know, it's Clint Eastwood, it is it's, a, it's one of my favourites, to be honest. Valerian, this was bought as a gift by my mate Ian one Christmas. Looks amazing on Blu-ray. And to be honest, it's not bad. So, we, you know, it's a Luke Besson film. I know a lot of people hate it. Uh, Halloween, 4K. I've got more editions than I'll shake a stick of Halloween. Superman, the movie. Uh, 4K is the theatrical and the Blu-ray is the director's cut. So, and you get a digital download. Matrix, you only need the first Matrix. You don't need the rest of them. They're just big pants, aren't they, really, to be honest. The first one's the best one, and it looks absolutely amazing on 4K, to be honest. One I'm going to get rid of. It's not going to remain in the collection. Um, Spider-Man. I'll stick that over there. Steelbook. <clears throat> True Romance. Again, personal favourite. I didn't get the. Uh, I, I snoozed on the on the box, and it was expensive, to be honest. <clears throat> Watchmen, the ultimate cut, which has got all the bits in there. I actually own a DVD set. Uh, 
I think it's DVD or Blu-ray set, American one, but yeah, this blows it out of the water, to be honest. And I love these cheapo sets, martial arts and stuff. This has got Impossible Kid on it. That's the only reason I bought it, Wang Wing, but there's, there's tons of uh, Shokasugi and Nine Deaths of a Ninja and stuff like that. It's, it's great. And last but not least, remember the old Vipco sets? This is the House of Doom, which has got all of those lovely movies on there. And, uh, yeah, you don't see these about anymore, these boxes. All uncut as well. So I just wouldn't upgrade stuff like that. So anyway, this is volume 13. There is a 12.5 that will be after this. And, yeah, plenty more to go. I'm going to start maybe on top of there next. I haven't decided. And then the vinegar syndromes and the arrows and the severins and the mondos and the Roger Coleman's. Right, I hope everyone's doing all right. I will catch you on the flip side and uh, have a good weekend. Yeah, take care.